Hello everybody and welcome to yet another City Vlog video. Hope you're all keeping well and keeping yourselves safe and strong during these lockdown times. Now, today we've got myself here, Scott, and we've got Aisha right here. And then also today we've got some special guests. We've got Peter, we've got Ben, we've got Jake, we've got Holly, and we've got Sam. Now, our last two videos have both been about route setting, so today we thought we'd spice things up a little bit and just do another video about route setting, because when the climbing world's closed, we can't have people in, there's not much that we can do, so we're all just down here setting all the time and just trying new things out. So, we've got a little special game that we've created today, which Isha's gonna tell you about. So today we're going to be doing Root Setter's Wheel of Fortune. We're going to be setting in the comp room uh, and everyone's going to be doing one problem. The six categories which will be decided by the Wheel of Fortune will be the uh, number of holds we're allowed to use, the grade that we have to set, the colour of holds that we have to use, which section of the comp wall we're going to be setting on, the style of the climb and the time limit in which we have to set the problems. Yeah, so every route setter is going to be setting one problem each, so that means there's going to be six different problems in total. So we're just going to head through now and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go first. first. I'm going first. <laughs> Oh yeah, so one more thing as well, uh, because this is a game, one of the rules is is that if any of the route setters don't happen to meet any of the criteria that they've been given by the Wheel of Fortune, they're going to be punished with a poo point. So the person at the end of the game who has the most poo points is the loser, but we're not taking it that seriously. So like if, if I were to go over time, I get a poo point, or if I'm meant to be setting like a powerful problem and it ends up not being that powerful, then I get a poo point. Exactly, yeah. Or another example could be you set, you got given the challenge to set a V5, but you accidentally set a right. V4, so that doesn't quite meet the grade. Cool. And it's going to be down to the other route setters to judge that when they start testing the climbs out once they're all finished. Anyway, back to the video. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, who's next? Should we do Holly next? Uh, Jake, sir. I think Holly next. Oh, yeah. whoa. <laughs> you got 12. 11. Oh. <laughs> right then. Jake? Literally just set up as you normally would. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but make it easier. 20 minutes. But do it quick. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been given left hand side of the diamond, which is this section here. Uh, I had to do blue holes, V6, only eight holes allowed, and my style is a run and jump, so that's pretty cool for me because that's the kind of thing I like. So, I'm basically going to run in from this direction, put a couple of footholds here that we have to spring off, and then I've got a bit of planning to do, but I think it's going to be swinging around on some holds, mantle onto the left hand side of the diamond, and then reach up to the top, something like that. Got it all figured out, Ben. Sorry for Holly that she's got only got 15 minutes. <laughs> An 11 holded V7 dino. I think she's been dealt the shot. It took me happen. 15 minutes to screw that many holds in. Can I donate Never mind, like, my time if I finish 
Yeah. <laughs> Quickly, can I donate time? Well, so you can gift yeah. minutes to people? Gift minutes, yeah. That's a good idea. So what are you thinking, Holly? What's... Hey, what are you... No idea. <laughs> to be quite honest. Pressure's on. Just wing it, mate. <laughs> I feel like the time's getting quite close. I've got one hole to put on, so. Well, I think Ben's gonna donate you some time. <laughs> How long do you reckon it usually takes you to set a problem, Holly? Choose everything as you go, but well, I'm, not the, I'm not the quickest setter in the world anyway, so it's Did you get on Holly? <laughs> set a V7 dyno with 11 horns. So, um, yeah, I think it went alright. Yeah? I'm not sure, I'm not too 100% sure if it'll work, but yeah, we'll see. What's your plan, Sam? Have you got plan? one? Um, so, I've got 12 holds um, on the prow. There's quite a lot of volumes already, so I've got lots of little holds like this as well. Um, I've got to do lots of toe hooks and heel hooks. Um, I'm thinking I'll start around here, go up to a big jug, and then swing it over hooks across to here, and then move the way up the prow. How long has it been? Like five minutes? So you have to use all your holds. I'm gonna go a couple more than I need. You don't just chuck it anywhere? Or does it have to actually be a, like a yes. usable hold? Apparently they've got to be useful, which kind of makes it difficult. Oh. Part of the challenge, really. Everything. You finished? Just about, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> oh yeah. I think... I'd probably normally test it more oh. and take something off, but yeah. Yeah. Still have to do. What grade is it again? Uh, it's supposed to be V3. Okay. Uh, I think it may be at least a V4. Right, football, football. And then at least a dual You were showing football. It was, uh, what's it called? Jake's begun. Yo. You got a set of balancey problems. Balancey V5. Balancey yeah. V5. And Animal? like, I'm sure we've tried setting something easy with these holes on this lab before and it ended up being about <laughs> V7. So, we'll see how it turns out, but... I'm not feeling hopeful, really. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're one of the people that hasn't got this so easy? Uh, I mean, I've got 40 minutes to do it. And, to be fair, we didn't use these last time, they're pretty good. I think it'll go, maybe it might be a bit hard for V5, but we'll find out. Time's on his side though. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's way too hard. <laughs> what grade is it? V5. Yeah, that looks V5 all day. Well, I thought that, but then I got on it. If you got your knees there, you put to about here. Yeah. I was thinking of putting right. another one here. Yeah. yeah. And, then, got there. and then roll up to these three. Yeah, and then roll up to this, so you can actually have a good side up. If you're already using 30 out of your 40 minutes, then you could donate 10 minutes to Hollis. No, I want to keep my 10 minutes. I, I want to keep my 10 minutes. Are you keeping your 10 yeah, minutes? Yeah, yeah. You could give them to your friend and take them. Nah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to love those minutes. I'm going to like get a deck chair out, <laughs> sit, sit underneath a tanning bed. We don't always have to be working, do we? We can just yeah. relax. Ten minutes of chill. Yeah. 
No, I think Jake's got 11. Holly's got, Holly had the most. Yeah, because Holly's not been able to use all hers. Okay. So I, think that's she, I think that's why we gave her a poo badge. Oh, uh, okay. Did she get a poo badge per hold that she doesn't use? Yeah, I reckon. Or does she just get an overall poo badge for not using them all? Poo badge per hold's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> She didn't use all the holds. Pro hold not used. Yeah. So we just, I think this so is one poo badge if you didn't use the right amount of holds. Yeah, that's what I think. I've got 35 minutes, seven grey holds, with styles powerful, V4. Clear and concise. <laughs> this man's had time to think about this problem, hasn't he? I can tell. I have, I've spent <laughs> three days about thinking about this. I had a vision. But how long do I have? 30 minutes? Shall I cheat and give myself extra seven seconds? Oh no. Go on. No, that's a poo badge. <laughs> right, so before you get cracking these, just quickly run me through. This is cutting into my time as well. Just talk and talk and you can multitask, can't okay. you? Okay, I don't fully remember what my parameters are, but I think I've got nine holes. I have to set a V1. It needs to be on the right side. Ah. Needs to be on <laughs> <laughs> It needs to be on the right side of the diamond, but I'm going to vent onto this bit as well. Uh, and it's going to be sick. What's your style? Compression. What's your style? My style is pretty Compression. I'm trying to film here, Pete. Which one? Thanks, buddy. Can't forget your holds. Don't forget your holds. Hey. How many holds have you got? It seems like you've got quite a lot. I'm only nine. I feel like I want more. No. Oh, you want more? I feel like that's a good amount. Especially because it's quite an easy one. It's nine and feet. Yeah, so I have to do a V2. Uh, and I had to make a compression, which is quite difficult. Yeah, so this hold's turned a bit sideways, so you go to that one. And if you didn't have this hold on to compress, you would just fall off, therefore it's a compression move. The same could be said for this move. And that move, you need to compress. <laughs> Wait, point out that last one again. Okay. <laughs> and then for the last move, I think you'll find that you need to compress between your heel and your hand in order to reach the last hole. That's one, two, three, four, five compression, you guys, in my compression nice. problem. Too hard or too easy? V1 and a half. V1 and a half? V1.5. Yeah. Maybe even what V1.75. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do the last one. Alright, so I'm gonna do the last one. I'm gonna do the last one. i I'm gonna do the last one. I'm gonna yeah, I didn't do that. I didn't do it either. I noticed that you didn't use a left heel to left hand, which some expertly demonstrated that. I thought that was the most compression y bit. You used the volume up to the side. Would you say it was compression y? Yeah, it's quite a lot of heel hooks and. It's all side pulls, so yeah. 
and I was concerned I was running out of wall space. The problem is with these big, big holes is because these like strips are quite narrow and it's hard to fit them in and you obviously don't want them overlapping. Uh, so I've just got rid of two of the big holes last minute and just got two probably unnecessary footholds to sneak on. Tricks of the trade. It's quite challenging though, like, so you could just stick those on wherever, but you want to keep it to the grade, haven't you, as well? Yeah, so don't want to make it... these are going to be a little help, but largely unnecessary. And you could just do a lot of, like, heel hooking. So it's a squat, I mean, I'm a thief. Oh, so you're thinking powerful. getting them more up at the top rather than low down? Yeah, maybe just, like, help you with a finishing hold. So I've tried not to think about this too much. Usually I like, take a long time to think about something, try and make it quite technical. But I've gone, for, well, I was selected for powerful and I feel like that's just my style anyway. And powerful to me is often a bit basic as well. Mm. So I've tried not to really think and just make it a bit basic and fully, a bit of burl. Got a good section for it as well, to be fair. Yeah. Couldn't have got a better section for powerful. Yeah, I've like, I've got varying angles, a bit of steepness. I've already got like a volume in place, so that was useful. I'm the one at the top and got a lot yeah. of space by making it traverse. Nice. I might give it a test before I put the feet on. <laughs> what have we set, Peter? So I was challenged with setting a V4 problem on this section of wall with seven holes. So I've done something quite a lot of jugs, some big moves, jug hole traverse line. Yeah, I think it's about the grade. And what was your style? Uh, powerful. Power. Power. Pete's power problem. Do you not know Jeremy Clark's? <laughs> For Peter. No poo. No, no poo. poo from Sam. No what poo, poo for Peter. I think it's probably V5 for a shorter person. I'd be interested to see what each thinks. I'm, I'm holding my judgment until each has tried it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're grading for other people. <laughs> I knew it. Who are no poo? I don't know what it's meant to be. It's <laughs> meant to be four. Uh, Have you been on it, Holly? I think for a comp room, that could get me four. Also, I'm like, not tiny, but on the smaller end of people. 
people. Mm. You do have arms like Mr. Tickle, though. I do. <laughs> it's very useful indeed, having arms as long as Mr. Tickle's. <laughs> There's a snake just one long neck. Supposedly V3, but I've had a bit of a hard time making it easy enough. V3 on the prow, and it needs to be toe hooky and heel hooky. Yeah, I, I think I got that part, but. Okay. Not too sure about the grade. We'll see what the others think. <laughs> I would try and do it without toe hooks and heel hooks. Just to be all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if people don't meet the criteria of their problems, they receive one poo badge. Ben's trying to give Sam a poo badge by not using any toe hooks or heel hooks. Don't want to. All right. Cheeky. Oh, thank God. Where you have zero feet, you, you thought that was going to be the easy. I thought I'd be able to keep left sewing where feet left handed. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, but you can't see the finishing hole, can you? Sir? Yeah, mm, I that's a good point. Yeah. I okay. felt like I needed it because I couldn't see the other one and I yeah. could only see that one. But if you looked now and went up, you wouldn't use it again, would you? Maybe because I was, mm. I'd already 
read that mm. before I got on. I thought it was V4 though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to poo badge you for grade, but everything else I thought was a success. It was a gold star. Ooh, one poo. Gold star. <laughs> one poo. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck some poo right out if you want. Don't hold back on the poo. Don't hold back on the poo. Are we that desperate for something that's entertaining that we just need to say the word poo loads for comedic value? <laughs> for this because I can't do it so therefore it must be too hard at V5. I did, yes. My friends in Squamish will be proud of me. It's a classic Squamish move. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> I really wanted to stand on that red. I was like, <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, mate. Nice. Just to clarify, Holly just made the first move of this problem, <laughs> but we missed it. <laughs> so Peter's just actually managed to climb that green that he was trying earlier. So he's just done it. So he's taken away his poo point. V5. So, I think it is V5. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. It it's, it's a classic balance. When you do it right, it's not. It's V5. Yeah. Yeah. You do it wrong. I got no poo points. If anyone cares. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Ish. Ish just said to Ben, Everyone. Ben, did you tell the camera that I got no poop points? <laughs> Holly, Ish got no I got poop no points. poop points. Aww. Thank you. Jake, Jake. Hey! Right, well, we hope you enjoyed the video. That was Ooh. fun. Yeah, so, guys. I hope you're enjoying these videos that we're making just as much as we're enjoying them. Um, so you can actually support us by, you know, just giving that little like button a little press, or you can hit the subscribe button, or even better, you can maybe even leave a comment. We'd really appreciate that. Uh, we'll Something just... about a bell as well. Oh yeah, is there a bell? <laughs> yes, a bell. A bell all right, yeah. yeah press, press the bell. bell. Also another point, uh, we're really grateful for all the support you've been giving us during the lockdowns. It's been really tough, but all those positive messages that you've been sliding into us DMs have been greatly appreciated. And especially those people that have continued paying their memberships while we've been closed, that's keeping us well afloat. Bless you all. <laughs> and also, we've got a shop online now, so you can buy uh, our own custom merchandise, or you can also buy stuff by other brands, such as Edelraid, Moon, Snap. You can buy like bags, bouldering pads, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you want to go check that out, uh, there'll be a link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Peace.